What are the six trigonometric ratios? When do we use them? The six trigonometric ratios are useful way in getting the measure of angles or the sides of a triangle. Take note, the six trigonometric ratios are applicable only when the triangle is a right triangle. Later on in this video, I will introduce to you the six trigonometric ratios, but let us learn first the parts of a right triangle. Now identify the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite side of a right triangle. In getting the hypotenuse of a right triangle, always remember the position of a right angle. In this triangle, this is the, the position of a right angle and the measure of it is 90 degrees. The side opposite to a right angle is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And take note, the hypotenuse is the longest side. But the problem here is, where is the adjacent and where is the opposite side of this triangle? So with this one, we should know where is the reference angle. The reference angle here is this one. This has a symbol of that read as theta. And we can now identify where is the adjacent and where is the opposite. From the given reference angle, the side across to the reference angle is the opposite side. And the side next to the reference angle is the adjacent side. Always remember to identify your reference angle so that you can easily identify the position of your opposite side and the adjacent side. Because in getting the hypotenuse, it is very easy because it is always opposite to a right angle. What if we will change the position of the reference angle? In this illustration, this is the position of our reference angle. What will happen to the hypotenuse? To the position of adjacent side and to the position of the opposite side. Since this is the reference angle, always remember that the side across the opposite or the reference angle is the opposite side. And the side next to the reference angle is the adjacent side. And the side opposite to a right angle, this is the right angle, will always be the hypotenuse. Take note, for you to easily identify where is the hypotenuse, opposite side, and the adjacent side, Always know your right angle, the position of your right angle, so that you can easily locate the side that is the hypotenuse or the longest side. For you to easily identify the opposite side, go back to your reference angle and the side across on it is the opposite side. And the side next to the reference angle is the adjacent side. So that's it.
we will now discuss the six trigonometric ratios. But as we discuss it, don't forget the position of the hypotenuse and the side opposite to reference angle is opposite and this will be the adjacent. The shorter name for hypotenuse is HYP, for the opposite is OPP, and for the adjacent is ADJ. So that we can use the HYP as hypotenuse, OPP for the opposite, ADJ for the adjacent. We have the primary ratio. The number one is sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse or this can simply write as sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse This is the ratio of sine, opposite over hypotenuse. The next one is cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side over hypotenuse or cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and the third one is tangent theta wherein that is the opposite over adjacent or we can simply read tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. These are the first three trigonometric ratios. The sine function it is always the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's the ratio. The cosine function from the reference angle the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tan function tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. For you to easily memorize them, we can use the mnemonic term which is so ka toa. What does it mean so ka toa? Sine theta is equal to O means opposite, H is the hypotenuse. For the cos theta, C is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. For the TOA, this tan theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. This is the other way for you to easily memorize the ratio of the primary ratio of the six trigonometric ratios. And the next trigonometric ratios are the secondary ratio. Meaning to say that most of the time the secondary ratio are, are useful because in solving a right triangle the sine, cosine, tangent are the most useful ratio in solving a right triangle. So the fourth one is the cosecant theta. The cosecant theta is totally inverse of sine. Meaning to say the ratio of it is hypotenuse over opposite. Or we can simply write cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. And the fifth one 
is the inverse of cosine which is secant theta is equal to hypotenuse over the adjacent or simply secant is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent and the last one to complete the six trigonometric ratios is the inverse of tangent and this is co tangent theta is equal to opposite of or the inverse of tangent that is adjacent over opposite or we can simply write cot theta is equal to adjacent over opposite these are the six trigonometric ratios these are the primary ratios which are sine cosine and tangent and these are the secondary ratios which are the cosecant secant and cotangent to easily memorize the secondary ratio we can use the acronym for Cho Sha Kao. Meaning to say that cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. For the secant theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. For the cot theta is equal to adjacent over opposite. So don't forget to use Sokatoa and Choshakao. For example, this is a right triangle having the hypotenuse of 5 cm and we do not know yet where is the opposite and the adjacent. So let's say for example this is the reference angle. We will now find the six trigonometric ratios for the given angle theta. So the six trigonometric ratios, the first one is sine theta. Sine theta opposite over hypotenuse and the opposite here is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5 so this is now the ratio of sine theta number 2 cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so the adjacent here is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5 3 fifth is the ratio of cosine theta. Number three, we have the tan theta or the tangent theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. The opposite to this reference angle is four and the adjacent here is three. The ratio of tan theta now is four third. Number four, we have the cosecant theta. The cosecant theta, cosecant has a ratio of opposite of sine, which is hypotenuse over opposite. This is the ratio of cosecant. So let's get the value. From the given theta, the hypotenuse is five, and the opposite is four. Five fourth is the ratio of cosecant theta. And the uh, number 5 is secant theta. Secant theta is the inverse of cosine. This is now hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent is the ratio of secant theta. And to easily identify the reference angle of hypotenuse, here is 5. And the adjacent is 3. So the ratio of secant theta is 5 third. 
And finally, the last trigonometric ratio is the cotangent theta, and it is the inverse of tan, which is adjacent over the opposite. This is the ratio of cot. To get the adjacent to this triangle, from the reference angle, the adjacent here is 3, and the opposite here is 4. So the ratio of cot tangent theta is 3 4. So again, sine theta is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse. The opposite is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5. And the cosine theta is adjacent over the hypotenuse. Adjacent here is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. And the next one, tan theta, it is opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is 4 and the adjacent is 3. So this is the ratio of tan theta. For the cosecant theta, hypotenuse, which is 5, over the opposite, which is 4. So this is the ratio of the cosecant theta. For the secant theta, it is hypotenuse over the adjacent. Hypotenuse is, here is 5 and the adjacent is 3. So 5 third is the, the ratio of secant theta. And the last one, for cotangent, it is the ratio of adjacent over the opposite, and the adjacent here is 3, and the, oppos and the opposite is 4, so 3 fourth is the ratio of cotangent theta. For you to easily remember them, don't forget the so katoa. So ka toa. Meaning to say, S is for sine, theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. C is cosine, theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan, theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And don't forget the position of your angle or your reference angle because it will lead you to identify the opposite side and the adjacent side. And also, don't forget the other mnemonic word for cosecant, which is cho, sha, kao, which is cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Secant theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And cot theta is equal to adjacent over opposite. That's it.